Hey, how's it going guys? Tech Notice here, and I haven't been seeing any PPI test between the new OLED display of the iPhone 10 versus the iPhone 8 and below display. So as you guys can already tell, the iPhone 8 of course has a lower quality display. It has an LCD panel versus an OLED panel that recently came on the iPhone 10 here. And the iPhone 8 and below does rock 326 PPI, whereas the brand new one does have a 458 PPI plus. Now these are very respected in their terms of how much you can see from a distance. Now, of course, PPI wise is going to be a very difference on different devices. You guys are going to notice different coloring, different everything. But for that's for another video. If you guys haven't seen my video with the display test and the quality of each display, do check it out. I do have one against the iPhone 8 versus the OLED panel on the iPhone 10 over here. You guys can talk about the blue shift and you guys will can see the blue shift in effect in that video. But for this one, specifically the resolution and the PPI of both devices. Now, I'm going to put them into macro mode and we're going to zoom in into a couple icons and into a bunch of text and see how much one is over the other so let's get started let's do it jump straight in right now all right guys so for the first test we're gonna go swipe over to notification center and there's gonna be a little calendar here that gives us a little preview of the pixelation that we will see on the iphone 8 versus the iphone 10 over here now of course the iphone 10 is a little bit thicker a little bit taller than the iphone 8 so we're gonna have to hold it whereas the iphone 8 is gonna be on a stand so Bear with me if the display might be shaking just a little bit on the 10 when we have it over there. But let's just swipe over to this little calendar icon right here. So it's very small, very difficult to see, but we'll zoom in as close as we can. And as close as the camera can pick it up and go into macro mode right here. So there you guys go. You guys can see all the pixelation that's going on with the iPhone 8. Now keep in mind that the iPhone 8 does have 326 PPI. So we'll move on to another one. We'll swipe over to messages over here. And you guys can see that the text, again, is very crisp, very, very clean. And we'll move over to a couple more of the text at the bottom of each app. And we'll do the same thing for the iPhone 8 right over here. So move straight in, let it focus a little bit, and there you guys go. You guys can actually make out all the pixelation going on with the text messages here. So at the bottom, at messages, you guys can see that the S is just a little bit more edgy than the iPhone X. And we'll just move over as we did with the iPhone 10. Although the iPhone 8 is a retina display, the iPhone 10 here is a HD retina display. So it's more high definition than it is. And it's a little bit different for the Plus models if you guys haven't already seen. So the Plus model does have 401 PPI, whereas the iPhone 8 over here just has 326. So there's a little bit of a jump right there if you guys did have a Plus model over to this model. Just a little bit more clear. However, the iPhone 10 totally trumps it out. Very nice. So we'll set this down right here and we'll jump over to the next app. So as you guys can see within this folder, we do have six array of apps. However, the compass right there is the one we're taking a look at right now. And the compass, you can barely make out anything. You can barely see west, east, south, or west, or north. <laughs> My mistake there. But yeah, um, the main thing here is the pixel density. So the pixel density, the resolution just doesn't make it out enough just so you guys can see that the app does have all those texts going on right there. And let's jump over to the iPhone 10 over here and see how well it can do. So iPhone 10 is on the display right now and let's see if we can actually make anything out i would very be very doubtful but there you guys go you guys can actually see within the folders icon you can actually see the w the end the east and the south it's not very very visible but again it's way more visible than the one that we do see on the iphone 8 right there and take a look at the other apps as well if you guys haven't taken a look at it uh, it looks very nice on the 10. let's move over to a couple more ones right here let's see a couple more small apps and see how well it looks. All right, guys, so the next one here is gonna be the desktop version of the front page of New York Times. As you guys can see here that the text are very small. Right up top here, we'll just focus on the home page. So if you guys can see that the home page is a little bit more pixelated, and as we focus it and as we switch up the angle a little bit, you guys can actually see all the little pixelations. So we'll move over to even a smaller text right at the bottom here with the news and desktops. So as you guys can see, it's a little bit different on camera than you guys see in real life. You guys can actually make it out just a little bit better than you can on the camera right here. But again, the news and desktop, take a look at that word and we'll just switch over to the iPhone 10 in a second here. Zooming straight into the little bottom portion and right about there, news and desktop. So what do you guys think guys? Just drop it in the comments below. Tell me how much better 
the iPhone 10 he is to the iPhone 8 but I do see a dramatic difference here not so much in real life because the display and our eyes can only pick up so much but here news and desktop looks very clear on camera here and you guys can read out you guys can make out every single text whereas this one right here will just bring it back into the picture and there you guys go news and desktop and pretty much this is as far as it can make it in so we'll zoom in on this little area right here and we'll keep going in until the camera focuses the Yale and Professor race. Try to be as steady as possible for you guys. Okay, and we will move into this one right over here. So it doesn't even seem like this one has it, but it does have a link to something else. Yale and Professor, so it's a little bit more blurrier on the iPhone 8 over here. So let's just jump into another test and see the final one, see how well it does. All right guys, so last but not least, we're gonna find one that's really interesting right here. So this one's probably the most harder one to actually see, even with your eyes. And hopefully we can pick it up on the camera right here. But as you can see that Tutu app, and if you guys don't know about Tutu app, I do have a specific video on it, how to get a bunch of free apps. I'm not gonna mention it too far in this video, but you guys go, you guys can actually see at the bottom there, we do have a tiny little text right in the corner there. This is gonna be a difficult one, but let's see if the macro can pick this up. So we'll go in as further as possible. And there you guys go, you can actually pick it up that it does say free. So we go zoom it in as much as we can right into there and hopefully the camera can pick it up and you guys can see all the pixelation that's going on with this app right here. We'll switch over to the iPhone 10 over here. We'll move into the same app. And there you go, that's such a big difference there. I can see the whole thing say free, very nice. So the 450 plus PPI definitely does make a difference there over the 326 going on the iPhone 8 and below. So one more time, we'll just zoom into this one right over here. You can barely make out that it says free and one over here where you guys can completely see the word. So hopefully in this video, I can actually get a split screen for you guys. But if I can't, just bear with me and watch the entire video. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. If you guys like this, do drop a comment below. Hit that like button as well. It really helps out this channel. And remember, hit that bell button alongside the subscribe button if you guys haven't. This is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out.